I'm not joking when I say this. This is the best Pendulum card since Electromite. If you want to know every single way to abuse this card, you got to watch this entire video. I'm, I'm literally in a state of shock right now. I am legitimately don't even know what to say or think. I, I It's 4 a.m. I can't sleep. I, I'm literally in a state of shock. I don't know if I should smile or cry. I can't believe my own eyes. I really cannot believe what I'm reading. This card is the most broken pendulum card that I've ever read in my life since Electromite. And I'm not saying that because it's of the YouTube video. No, 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 no. There is like 20 things about this card that is just so fucking crazy. I don't even know where to begin. Like, I really don't know where to begin. But let's just go straight into it, okay? If this is your first time on the channel, smash the subscribe button. We're almost at 53,000 subs. Smash the like button and stay tuned to this whole video. So let's get straight into the details on why this card is the best pendulum support since Electromite. I'm gonna hit you with all the facts, so brace yourselves. First things first, it is a Link 2. Every Link 2 is broken. Hello Electromite, hello Crowley, hello Needle Fiber, hello Isolde. This is on the same level as Isolde and Electrum. No cap whatsoever. It really is. It's a Link 2, and the way you make this card, it's not with two pendulums. It's with one pendulum plus any monster, which means you get special magician souls and just normal summon a dead pendulum in your hand like purple poison and the two of them make this card. Okay, broken. It's a spellcaster. Even more insane. It's like Konami wanted us to abuse this card with Selene, which means if you're playing Zephra and you make this card pre-pen summon, that means that you can now make Selene. card is just so fucking insane i like i don't even know where to start there's like a thousand reasons why this card's broken okay next it's a dark okay this dark spellcaster by the way dark spellcaster that means you could play with this card with black bang you could play with this card with double iris with purple poison you could play with this card in that sense dark spellcaster this comes up a lot boys all right now let's get into the nitty-gritty of what it actually does if this card is Link Summoned to the Exo Monster Zone, the only place it'll be Link Summoned, pay 1,200 life points out of Pendulum Monster from your deck to your hand. What the? Pay 1,200 life points out of Pendulum Monster from your deck to your hand. Oh my goodness. Add a Pendulum Monster from your deck to your hand. There's no downside because the actual downside says after adding it to your hand, you can't activate monster effects or effects of cards in the Pendulum Zone until you pen summon. That's irrelevant because once you make the card, you know for a fact your next play is pen summoning. That's when you make this card. So would I prefer it didn't have that? Yes. But does it matter? No. No. Because once you make this card, you are prepared to commit to your pen summon. Does that make sense? If they Valor it, take this in. Okay? The fact to add a Pendulum Monster is not once per turn. It's not once per turn. Which means, if you make this card and you look at your hand, you're like, alright. By the way, before I continue, this card's going to change Pendulums forever and how we deck build. Do you remember Electromite, uh, Electromite format? Everyone will play Curtain Razor, Dark Worm, Chronograph, Cerberus, Foolish Burial, every extender in the game to make Electromite pre-pen summon. Same thing's gonna happen with this card. So pre-pen summon, all of our deck, dust off your Curtain Razors, dust off your Chronographs, your Dark Worms, all that stuff. This card will be the uh, always made before your pen summon. So your deck's gonna have a bunch of extenders. So let's say you're not prepared to pen summon, whether you're going first or second. You set, activate this card. Use the effect. I like to activate this. I'll pay 1200. All right. Imperm. He impermanences it. Oh. 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 You think you like the impermanence of my monster? No problem. I'm going to use one of my 95 turbo cards to summon out another one because this card is not a hard once per turn. This card is not a fucking hard once per turn. Are you fucking kidding me? Which means that if they hand trap the effect to 
to add the one pendulum monster you're missing. Let's say you're missing a pendulum monster to say pen summon or something like that. You just summon out another extender, make a second one, as long as it's a pendulum extender, because this card says, like I said in the beginning, if this, this card has to be made with one pendulum and one monster, which means you could make this card with itself, as long as it's made with another pendulum. So let's say you open two extenders, you, your five card hand, right? You start off with two extenders, your opponent hand traps it. No problem, normal summon any pendulum. Make it again. It, it's inevitable, it's like Thanos. Absolutely inevitable. Because Destiny arrives all the same with us winning. So that's why the other effect is irrelevant because you know right once you get it, you're just gonna pencil, you're literally gonna scale scale pen summon. It's that easy. On to this next effect. If two monsters with different original levels are pendulum summoned at the same time, this card points to <laughs> Yeah, I know there's more than one effect. How electromite anyone? If two monsters with different original levels are pendulum summoned at the same time to the zone this card points to. Target two cards in the field, destroy them. What? You guys are aware, right? That all the extenders are different levels. Curtain Range is level 4. Dark Home is level 4. Gate Zero is level 7 that you get from it. Carnograph is level 6. Time Gate is level 3. Cerberus is level 8. Jackal is level 6. Souls is level 1. Okay, well, it doesn't matter. <laughs> but you get what I'm saying? Everything is different levels. So that aspect doesn't matter. All this card says is if you pendulum summon under this card, destroy two cards on the field. Do you have any idea how busted this is? Not only are you adding the scale you're missing, not only is that effect not once per turn if they hand trap it or interrupt it, but you're also destroying two cards in the field. Not only is that the case, but it's also a spellcaster to make with Celine after you're done. This card is so busted. I actually don't know if I like how to act right now. Like I don't know if I should be happy or cry or mad or sad or throw break a table. I should, I'm literally in a state of shock. I actually cannot believe this card. It's 4:08 a.m. right now as we speak. This card has me awake at 4:08 a.m. contemplating life on how broken of a card this card is. Do you have any idea, like, do you have any idea what, like, like, I don't even know where to, like, guys, for the first time in my life, this card has made me speechless. Do you know how many one card combos this card makes for pendulums? Dust off your DD Keplers is all I gotta say. Here's a combo for you. Piri raise map, activate, add Kepler, normal Kepler, add contract, activate contract. Pen call, discard Lamia. All right, special Lamia. All right, the two of them. You make this card. Kepler's a pendulum, Lamia. Doesn't need to be two pendulums. The sec, before you activate this, bring this card out. Use Wisdom Eye before, you have, before this card comes out, if you want to. All right, pen summon. Add anything you want. Add your scale. Add Zephyr Nui. <laughs> wow. That's all I gotta say. Is wow. And it doesn't even stop there, by the way. It really does not stop there. Knowing how crazy pendulums are, you could very easily set up Appaloosa first and then this card. Very easily. Very fucking easily. Very easily. Let's say you're playing a deck with all the uh, Keplers, right? Uh, you have three Kepler, you have three premium raised map, you have contract, you have all this shit to make Kepler easily, okay? You're also playing like 15 extenders in the deck moving forward. If you open two extenders and one of your Keplers, you set up Appaloosa and this card. And you're thinking, where's the other cards in my hand, Triff? Where's the other two cards in my hand? Why are they not scales? This card adds you the scale. This card allows us to go Appaloosa, set this card up, and pen summon going first. Going second, this allows us to clear any single board in the game. What does this card do for pendulums? It ensures we will always have scales moving forward. It ensures that our turn two and three are absolutely broken. Imagine this card in like turn two or three. It will absolutely change the game.
But most importantly, this card makes it so pendulums are breaking any board going second. By the way, to make this card even more fucking wild, you can chain block the second effect. <laughs> what the fuck? You can chain block the second effect. If this card's adding a pendulum monster in your pen summoning, it's adding harmonizing if you don't already have harmonizing in your hand. You chain block this with the harmo or whatever way you want or any random card, pen sorg or something. Wow. I'm in shock. Okay. I'm going to go straight into the lab right now and get some work done with this deck. I already made a custom card with this, and I'm going to play a bunch of this card on stream. Wow. All right. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. This card is fucking insane. I'll see you guys in the next video. Smash the subscribe button. Peace.